Hey, you. Yes, you, laddie. <laughs> you remember Pink Floyd, don't you? Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, The Wall, The Final Cut. Uh, OK, maybe not so much that last one. But they were an awesome band, weren't they? They had a legion of fans, and some of those fans even wanted to become musicians themselves and desired that Dave Gilmore sound for their very own. Did you know that some clever music manufacturers saw that growing trend and made items of music gear that help fans achieve that Floyd sound? Of course you do. That brings me to the Keeley dark side. No, not that dark side. No, not that one either. Focus now. I'm talking about the multi-effects guitar pedal developed by Keeley Electronics as a one-stop shop for that Gilmore glamour. It has fuzz tones, delays, rotary speakers, phasers and flanges all inside a neat little black box and it just so happens that you actually own one and it's in your hand. Well, yes, that's it. But here's an interesting thought. What if you own this pedal, yet after a while of happily sounding like Dave, you got bored and wanted to sound completely different? Could you still use this pedal? Well, how about we see what this pedal can do once you leave the 1970s behind? Would you like that? Yes? What a lovely forward-thinking old fart you are. Let's get to work. Tribe of Names, Simon here. Hello and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing if you like what you see. Or if you come back and you still haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. As I said, my name is Simon and I'm a professional musician who has spent the past 30 to 35 years working in and around the music industry, writing and performing. On this channel, we provide tips and tricks and gear reviews for the musician and songwriter in you. So then, the Keeley Dark Side. Now, I will make one admission with regards to this pedal. I didn't actually buy it to sound like Dave Gilmore from Pink Floyd. I actually bought it as a backup multi-effects unit just in case something failed on my live pedal board and I could instantly nip off stage, grab my gig bag, pull this out and be able to have access to a little bit of dirt courtesy of the fuzz pedal some delay and also some modulation although you can't have the delay and modulation at the same time but that's fine for me now getting down to details on the fuzz side you have a perfectly what i would call serviceable fuzz and what i mean by that is it's not experimental in any way this is not a zvex fuzz this is something which you would use to get good lead tones and great big dirty slabs of noise on the modulation side, this pedal possesses something which I've very rarely seen on other stomps. 
and that's a blend control that allows you to gently move between different types of modulation, giving rise to some creative hybrids which are very interesting to listen to, and we'll get to those in a moment. Now going back to the fuzz for one second, I'm not a huge fan of them to be honest with you, but I do like using them on lead tones because it does allow that sort of singing sustain which you often get when employing a fuzz alongside some other dirt channel. In this instance, the fuzz unit has three EQ settings which are full, flat and scooped and all of them are very usable depending on the situations in which you want to employ it. I tend to use it mostly on the full setting for the simple reason that it just allows my guitar to poke through when I'm doing any kind of lead playing. It's also got a little handy switch on the back here which will allow your fuzz to sit either before or after the modulation stroke delay circuit which is on this side. That's really useful. So let's go back and examine the modulation suite of effects on this side of the pedal. It has a three-way switch which goes between the phaser and the univibe blend, the delay circuit in the middle position which I believe is an emulation of one of those old 60s spinning drum magnetic delays with four tape heads equally spaced to control the delay times. And don't worry, I will be giving you some examples of that delay circuit a little later in this video. And on the right you're back to modulation with the flanger and the rotary speaker which again you can blend between. So let me grab my trusty looper pedal and let's examine these modulation effects and see what hybrid sounds we can create using the blend control. So there you go, a few examples of some of the hybrid sounds that you can get out of the modulation section of this pedal. And that my friends brings us on to what I think is probably one of the most involved parts of this pedal, which is the delay emulation section, which is based I believe on a Binson Echo Rec, which is one of those revolving drum, metal drum things, which has four tape heads around it, which I think the Floyd used quite extensively on their 70s albums. 
So I could probably record an entire separate episode talking about the Benson drum emulation built into this pedal and how you can engage the different tape heads as you move this dial around. In fact, actually what I'll do is I'll actually post a link to the delay matrix for the tape heads in the show notes below. But maybe it's best to give you a musical example as a way of illustrating just how powerful the delay section in this pedal actually is. So, Tribe of Names, until next time, enjoy this tune and we'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.